The Duke of Sussex's recent visit to the United Kingdom was marred by rumors of tension after the king chose not to meet with him. However, a palace insider dismissed the claims, citing, After the Duke's recent Invictus tour of the United Kingdom, the news that the king refused to meet him dominated the news all day. Several accounts stated that the king's hectic daily schedule caused him to allegedly ignore his youngest son and instead host a tea garden party. Recollections may vary once again, said an insider and close friend of the king who worked in the palace, denying the accusations. The Duke made a quick appearance at St. Paul's Cathedral in the UK last week before he and the Duchess of Sussex jetted off to Nigeria. In honor of the 10th anniversary of his Invictus Games, the Duke attended a Thanksgiving service. Those hoping for a reconciliation were disappointed that the Duke did not meet with the King, even though they were in the same city and only a few kilometers apart. The rumor that the King would not meet his son has been denied by a royal source. An unidentified friend of the King told the Times that King is apprehensive about visiting the Duke because of the media attention, but he agreed to see his son at a critical moment of his illness in February and in a couple of minutes. While it is true that the King is understandably wary about meeting with the Duke, given the publicity circus that seems to surround all such visits, he did of course agree to see his son at the most vulnerable moment of his illness back in February, and at very short notice. The King's cancer diagnosis had earlier been announced. His treatment and appearance have been the subject of much speculation since then. His physicians reportedly urged him to put all of his energy into getting well and getting back on his feet. The insider went on to say that no one had anticipated the King to immediately step onto the red carpet following the announcement of Invictus. However, the idea that he refused to find space in his diary well, let's say recollections may vary once again. The Duke of Sussex, on the other hand, had a great experience in the UK, mingling with a crowd that yelled, We love you, the Duke. Despite the absence of other royal members, the Duke was thrilled by the turnout of the throng. He even stated feeling glad to come home in interviews with a few news sites. However, others said he was heartbroken about not being able to meet his dying father. An official spokeswoman for the Duke highlighted that the Duke was well aware and understood the reasons why the King did not meet him. In answer to the many requests and continuous speculation on whether or not the Duke will meet with his father while in the UK this week, it unfortunately will not be possible due to His Majesty's packed agenda. The Duke of course is understanding of his father's diary of engagements and several other interests and expects to visit him soon. The spokesman told on Tuesday reported by The Mirror. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more of the same. See you soon.